Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL semi-final match between Zazu and Ranged, currently tied one apiece. Bottom right-hand corner, we got Zazu starting as the green Zerg. Upper left-hand corner, we got Ranged starting as the yellow Protoss. This is maybe on that map. That's right, it's Neo Sylphid. Just kidding. Um, I think the game went up, and I said it was Neo Sylphid, and nobody called me on it, by the way. So whose fault is that? Commenters slash shatters. Huh? You didn't catch the... Never mind. Anyway, on Polypoid, by the way, is the name of the map. <coughs> and now you guys feel like I'm gaslighting you constantly, and you can never trust anything I say again. <laughs> Go figure. Shouldn't have... I played myself. I've played myself. This is best of five, by the way. I believe the finals will be best of seven. Overlord making its way to the top right-hand corner for Zazu. Range setting up. He's keeping the probe... At a close position, which suggests we are going to see a gateway to start. Right now, it looks like Zazu has primarily been relying... I don't feel like this is indicative of all of his play. I think it might be indicative of respective Range's macro game. He's been primarily going for aggressive early play. I'm wondering if he's going to change his tactic after game two. So, succeeded barely game one. Game two kind of fell apart. We'll see. Gateway planted there at the natural. The probe making its way top right. I'm not sure if that overlord... Well, overlord's going to be a ways away to see that probe. Might be able to see it on exit, at which case the jig is up. We are seeing gas drop this time for Zazu. So Zazu actually committing now. This is most certainly going to be for Zergling speed and an attempt at sneaking Zergling towards the front. And I think this is a clever adjustment given how Cavalier ranged was in game one as far as particularly the zealot defense versus the initial zerglings he dropped the nexus before the forge and didn't even bother dropping the forge to create any form of blockade so it looks like zazu wants to try to punish it this game probe making its way in he's going to spot it this time so six zerglings sees the gas so he knows it's zergling speed as well Wait for the reaction. We've got a probe making its way down. No Nexus first this time. Second Zealot is in fact in construction. And the Forge dropped on the line. So now it is going to be... This is a big investment early. You know what's interesting? I think there would be an opportunity when this is scouted to maybe cancel Zergling speed and go for a quick lair. After killing the probe. And on top of that, Zazu doesn't have... He doesn't know where his opponent is. So the Zerglings are going to be even more delayed. So ranged in a great position again to start, but keep in mind that was the same case in game one. And Zazu was able to be a formidable opponent and sneak back into it to get the win. So Forge is down, but no cannon as of yet. It looks like he's just going to rely on the two zealots on the front to deal with the initial eight zerglings, which is possible in this small contained scenario. But if they start pecking away at the gateway or the forge, it could be dangerous for ranged. But right now, going to drop the nexus before any additional cannon. Once the cannon's up... This is basically it for Zazu, and Zazu finds the gap. I did not even realize that was a gap. Finds the gap and is able to make it in. Brilliant. It's never over. Cannon dropping. Single Zealot making its way out. The rest trying to blockade in case additional make their way across. I didn't think that was a gap. Today I learned. The Zealot's now streaming across. This is certainly going to create a lot of havoc. This was a mistake, though, by Zazu, so... He a Zealot can remain on the ramp while the two Zealots go engage this. Yeah, so now this is blockaded. That was a huge blunder on Zazu's part, but more Zerglings have made their way across. No additional... And that pylon is actually going to... do Yeah, all, wreak all sorts of problems now. Some additional probes pulled off the line to try to deal with this. This was a big Zergling dedication. Another pylon being dropped. The Zergling's trying to make sure that that doesn't... And it, I think this is going to be all in from Zazu from here. He just wants to try to push in as many Zerglings as possible while there's still just three Zealots, maybe take out the Forge. There's now a cannon in the main, so the main's gonna remain, the, the main is going to remain defended, and it looks like Ranged has managed to dodge a cannonball, let alone a bullet. And that Photon Cannon now being constructed, this was a, some delayed mining time, so Zazu might have some recovery options. Dropping a third hatchery at his natural. No third hatchery out in the exterior yet. He's still sitting at a low worker count. But ranged worker count <coughs> a little bit blunted as well. Dropping an assimilator. Still two zerglings running around. 
they're not going to be able to get a lot accomplished. They might be able to sneak in and pick off a probe or two. That's some nice additional economic damage. Looks like a probe, though, able to make it into the main and see that there was no tech to layer at either location. Oof. Huh? So now, Zergling... Zerglings have been cleared. Range is actually even at worker counts. Some more Zerglings have been constructed. Are we going to see a proxy hatchery from Zazu? He's moving up with a drone. Okay, never mind. That was just misrallied. What I have seen in the old school, old school Brood War days was proxy hatcheries to get very, very rapid reinforcement and have like a sunken colony there to have like a defensive outpost. Three o'clock base now going up. No Zergling, well, a few Zerglings left. Third hatchery coming up. No Hydralis Den. The Zelt's initially marching out, but now retreating. And Range has recovered economically. I'm not sure that Zazu has as well. He's a little bit over... He's banking a lot of gas for... Uh, okay, it looks like he's now taking Delay. I was about to say he's banking a little bit ga of gas and having some trouble. But building all those Zerglings in the early game and losing all of them and really not getting a lot to show for it, really, really hurting him here. And I'm, it looks like a second gas drop from range, so he wants to go maybe rapid tech as well, hiding that cybernetic score, so behind that cannon. The Zerglings looking to continue to test the front, maybe try to get an additional run by. I don't think that's going to be successful. That third hat, third hatchery, and okay, now we're having a Hydra stun. So this is turning into four hatch Hydra, interestingly enough. So, so rather than having the spire in between, it looks like you're going to have that fourth hatchery up. Kind of in an off position. Not a lot of saturation at the third to begin with. Now Zazu starting to get the drones to try to restabilize. Two gateways drop behind this. We are having a quick tech to range. So I'm thinking range is is presuming. Ooh, showing a dragoon right there, attacking some zerglings that were in a hold position. He's presuming that there wasn't going to be a spire, that this was in fact going to be another push towards Lurker Tech as Spire Tech has been kind of skipped in game one, game two. A bit of a risk here because Zazu, although he doesn't see it, he does have an opportunity if he dropped a second gas to go ahead and drop his own Spire and then maybe go for a massive air control game. It looks like the Overlord's going to be able to sneak in. It sees the range spinning here, but is he going to identify it as Overlord, or sorry, is he going to identify it as Dragoon range or is he going to identify it as plus one? If he sees that as Dragoon range, the adjustment should be go ahead and get a Spire. It looks like he is dropping that second extractor, but if he's recognizing that it's Dragoon range, he, he should recognize that, okay, maybe going for Lurker Tech in the mid game isn't going to be as large a benefit as it would have been otherwise. And ranged already dropping the robotics here at the natural. So yeah, good amount of Dragoons and on top, but this is often a, a smaller number of gateways. If he drops another, if he goes for the gateway flood, <laughs> gets another two gateways on top of this. Might end up in an okay position. Starting to go forward and test Zazu's economy. I think he might have looked at three plays of game one, game two. And noticed that Zazu is playing very, very economically light in game one, game two. So now testing the front is going to find a large grouping. I think this might be a dead attack force for ranged. Once again, Zazu again hovering around the 27 worker count and wanting to just go off that rather than taking additional territory and try to establish a seal but ranged again uh, he's done this time and time again has abused this high ground advantage and with the dragoons really ending up within a good situation with this he doesn't have enough zelts to linebacker quite yet nor does he have zelt leg speed so he's gonna have to retreat into that natural expansion but with this amount of dragoons i don't think zazu well we'll see he's going for a 973 all in although with a little bit of a higher saturation count but there's a lot of Dragoons behind this. They do have plus one weapons. And so they should be able to repel the Hydralisks. Looking for a Dark Templar potentially alongside as well. Looks like Zelt's leg speed now being tacked on as well. Some additional gateways, but more Hydralisks grouping forward. Unfortunately, range teching up maybe at the precise wrong moment. Ooh, that was a bad rally for that Dragoon. That gateway's certainly gonna fall. Dragoon's using the blockade and yeah, he needs to cancel. The upgrade on that forge. Zazu going for it, despite the Dragoons that are there. There's a third cannon to try to defend. They're boxing up, however, and having difficulty target firing. Probes pulling off the line. 
but ranged stutter stepping his dragoons as well and they're not firing so now the hydralis repelled they're gonna go ahead and pull back the forge still stands two additional cannons dropping range lost five workers in the midst of that <clears throat> didn't lose his forge now needs to wasn't able to cancel armor so he's gonna end up missing that out the probe still t trying to test the front this is still not much of a defense force now in the front so zazu does have an opportunity here and it looks like he wants to pull the trigger going in with more and more hydralisks ranged if he can just get a little bit of purchase could win this economically but right now zazu dragoon holding the high ground and the probes not attacking as well so zazu able to outproduce ranged and again has breached the natural expansion Robotics facility under fire. The Hydralisks completely breached the natural range now under the worker count of Zazu, which means he can outproduce him. Just needs to keep applying the pressure, and this should be a breach, uh, a game win. So Zazu is just, wow, found ways to sneak in, and that was insane. Just found the exact moment there that ranged was teching up, dropping the Templar archives and the additional gateway flood. And that is a great timing, and let's see if he continues to exploit it. Incredible. So natural expansion, gone. Probes pulling off the line in a desperation attempt, and there's GG. Zazu going up 2-1. And showing some incredible early to mid-game play here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.